Right, this is the problem I have. So I've got a Tamron 18 to 270 Canon fit lens and the zoom is stuck at 270. Won't go out or in at all. The zoom ring won't turn at all. Now one of the things I, one of the uh, fixes that I saw on YouTube for a similar problem was to access um, a little screw under here. So we'll take this ring off and what it said on YouTube was if it sticks at 35mm roughly then adjust this little screw. Now as you can see there's no screw there. So I don't know what's happened to this lens. So and it's going to cost, um, I got an estimate to get it fixed and it was going to be 110 quid plus postage to get it fixed. Lens itself is not worth that. I could get a, a new version of this for about 90 quid. So I'm going to try and strip it apart and see if I can fix it. Alright. So I'm videoing this so that I can see where I've put everything. I'm going to put it back together. So here we go. So first of all, four screws on the top. Okay, I've got some tiny screws round the edge here. Okay, can only get one of them out. So, that's that one. I've got two here that I need a smaller screwdriver for, so I'm going to have to pause, go and find a sm an even smaller driver than this tiny one. So I found a screwdriver that I think might fit it. connector on it doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, yes it is. Just stiff. Okay, so it's that disc. And then we've got a little room here which looks a bit corroded. That goes underneath that. And I've got one screw here. Now part of the purpose of this is to enable myself to see what I took. Oh, there's four screws actually. So I'm just going to put these in order on the bench. So that is. And it looks like there's water getting into this at some point. switch on the right hand side there. I 
No, that was the switch for the manual and autofocus. So here's where we are. Down the circuit board. Now, there are a few connectors here to take out. Just using a flat screwdriver to undo that clip. Didn't see a ribbon on that one. This one just pops up the way. Take the circuit board off. There are one, two, three screws for the circuit board. It's not the right screwdriver. Oh, it's not. It's just kind of glue, gunk stuff. Wait. Okay, I suppose the next one is these screws here. Are two, three, four, five. I don't know if these are going to be different lengths, so what I'm going to do is choose a point. Right, so I'm going to choose this point as the 6 o'clock position. So I'll remove that screw from roughly 3 o'clock. Six o'clock. That from eight. That from ten. They are different lengths, so good job I did that. Um, this from roughly about five o'clock. Now there's another one under there, but I can't really get to it because of this thing. I don't know what that is. So this black cover now comes off. Still unable to see why it's jammed. Two more screws here now that are accessible now that that black cover's off. And it won't turn. <coughs> right, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do next. Right, so uh, I'm completely stuck. Still can't get it to move, so I'm going to just have to try and put it back together again. Bit disappointing, but here we go. So, yeah, let me try and reverse the process. I'm not sure I can remember exactly which order everything went in. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm not going to bore you with the putting it back together video.
My advice is don't take one of these lenses apart. Alright, I'm back. I just realised something. So, the autofocus switch engages that little cog there, moves it up and down. So that's where it has to go. And then the other switch is a little slider here for the, for the vibration control. So that's where that needs to go. And indeed it does. It goes on. Yay! Now, pretty miraculously, given my feeling, feeling, my feeling eyesight, I managed to get the thing back together again. Whether it'll work or not is another matter. But it still does not turn. The zoom still does not work. Focus works. Zoom does not turn. So... I'll try it and see if it works. I mean, see if it still auto focuses. Auto focus on. Camera on. The autofocus is still working. And the vibration control is still working. So it's still stuck at 270. Don't know how to fix it. If anybody has any ideas how to fix that then let me know otherwise I've just stuck it's just stuck at 270 all right anyway thanks for watching a few years back